is going on everybody it's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to do this really cool VHS effect in Final Cut Pro 10 but you can also do this in After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro and I think you can also do this in Sony Vegas but don't quote me on that but uh, this is a plugin from Universe uh, from Red Giant and I'm gonna show you the video. I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen it, but I'm gonna play it one more time in case you missed it for some reason. But I'm gonna push play, and uh, this is the effects that I'm gonna teach you how, how to do. So right there is the effect I'm gonna show you guys how to do in this tutorial. Now I've seen this in so many videos, more specifically, in the cartoon kind of uh, sad edits and I'm gonna show you guys that right now let me go ahead and just pause and come back All right, guys so if you go on YouTube and you look up VHS sad edits you're gonna have a bunch of videos that are um, you know cartoons such as like The Simpsons um, I think this is Adventure Time and then you have Tom and Jerry then you got like Rick and Morty I think yeah that's Rick and Morty right yeah okay I'm just making sure uh, and then you have a whole bunch of other ones as well uh, but these are the type of effects that people have been making and recently they've been becoming really popular and so a lot of people in the comments want to know how to do that so let's take this one for example it's called broken uh, or actually let's take this one this is the one I, I looked up and it looks really good it's called mortywave.sad I'm gonna mute the audio because this is copyrighted um, so some of these um, are not used with the same plugin um, but this one looks a little different but it looks very very good as you can see and uh, here they they obviously have some music um, and uh, but yeah it's you know really good ratings and everything and it looks really cool it's kind of got that vapor wave kind of effect that kind of that vibe you know um, if we go to like this one we could also do uh, VHS edit so you can see that many people are trying to do this effect and it looks really cool uh, this one is one of my favorite ones of all time. Yeah, I'm not sure what this cartoon is, if you guys can let me know, but this one is, uh, f you know, same VHS, but a little different, um, but it's still kind of got that same vibe going on with Lucid Dreams uh, by Juice World. and I'm going to show you how to do this. So, I'm going to jump into Final Cut, and this is the video that I chose to do. I'm not going to do cartoons, because... You know, I don't want to get copyright or anything like that. So the first thing you guys are going to need, let me go back onto Google Chrome, is called uh, a plugin called Red Giant Universe. And this plugin is, uh, well, it's a paid plugin. It's kind of like uh, the Creative Cloud. You're going to have to pay like $20 monthly for this to be, um, for, you, for you guys to be able to use it. Or you can do a 14-day free trial. Uh, and I'm not being sponsored at all to say this. This is not a sponsored video. Um, but uh, you guys can definitely check out the um, their plugin. It's honestly one of the best plugins I have ever seen for an editing software. And so here you have a whole bunch of stuff that you guys can do. You can stylize footage to make it look VHS. You can do retrograde carousel, glitch effects. They even have transitions and stuff like that. And it looks so cool, guys. They have transitions and effects. Um, and so it, these are the effects that, uh, some of the effects that they have. Um, so you got like glitch ones, you got VHS, and these are all the ones that come in the pack here, as you can see. So we've got VHS, we got glitch, which looks pretty cool. Uh, Holo Matrix, that one looks really dope. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on each of these, leave a like and I'll be sure to show you guys how to do it and how to edit it with a, a video, of course. Um, so you got VHS transitions here, as you can see, and a glitch transition. Uh, so they have a whole bunch of stuff. And the best part is, is that it's, you know, you can use this on a, uh, let's see if we go to compatibility. You can use this in After Effects, Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut, Apple Motion, uh, Avid Media Composer, if you guys use that, uh, Magic Vegas Pro. So you can actually use this in Sony Vegas, uh, DaVinci Resolve, and HitFilm Pro. Uh, but for both Mac and Windows, which is really dope. So you guys can go to the pricing and you can see how much that costs if you guys do the $20 per month or the uh, annual, which is $100 per year. Or you can do, uh, if you guys are a student, you guys can get a, a discount and that will be $50 per year. Um, but you guys can do a free trial, which is what I've done. And you guys get 14 days to try this out and check out 
the uh, all the features. Uh, but anyways, this is the video here. Now, before we even import a video, mine for some reason doesn't import into the project, the library. We're gonna go to file and you're gonna go to import in media. And let's, you know, let's say this is the video that we're gonna import anyways. Over here in the transcoding, you wanna make sure that you click create proxy media. If you don't do this, your video will play as a original optimized media file, which means it will play it from its original source, normal resolution. The reason we do proxy media so it creates a lower resolution, uh, you know, file or video, so you can edit this faster because uh, the plugin is extremely GPU intensive. So if you're running an older Mac, I'm not sure if you will be able to run this because so I have the base model 2017 uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch model and it runs fairly good if you have the proxy media enabled if you don't it's going to be very difficult to edit uh, and so yeah so once you do that you also want to go to view and you want to do proxy media or you can do just leave it like that and do better performance because it's going to be very very slow i'm just letting you guys know that the more clips you add the slower it's going to be in the timeline i'm not sure how th how that runs in premiere or in after effects so here we have the video and I'm just gonna cut it here and I'm gonna make you know a basic cut so that looks pretty good so now if you go into the effects browser here and we go into video you're gonna notice now that you have universe blur distort generators glow motion graphics stylized text and utilities we're gonna go into stylize for this tutorial and you have a whole bunch of other effects here and they're really cool I would suggest not previewing these because it's very GPU intensive unless you have the uh, like I said, the, the proxy media enabled. Um, right now I don't have it, uh, but if I check that box right there, it's gonna be a lot faster as you can see. Um, so I'm gonna drag that on, or back before I do that, I'm gonna make this a grouped clip by creating a compound clip. And then I'm gonna drag this onto this clip here. Now you're gonna notice that the clip looks, you know, kind of distort, not distorted, but a little bit grainy. And it also doesn't, you know, like completely wash out or darken the video. But if you go into the inspector window, you have a bunch of settings that you guys can change. And when I mean a bunch, I mean a lot of things you can change. I'm not going to go through every single one because that will just take a forever. But if I go back and I push play, assuming my view is in proxy media because we already did that before importing the video. If not, it's going to be red and, you know, you guys uh, don't want the video to be um, red. It's going to say like uh, no media or something like that. So when you push play, you're going, to, you're going to see how it looks and you can see it's starting to drop frames sometimes. Um, now, if I enable this in the bigger preview, you're going to see it's a, a lower resolution file. And I'm not sure what these are. I'm not I don't really touch that. But if we go into right here where it says black level. You can, and if you click on it, if you drag it to the right, it'll make it look a little bit more washed out. Whereas if you drag it to the left, it'll make it a lot darker. So I'm going to drag this a little bit more to the right. So it's a little bit more washed out. But the cool thing is, is that you can control almost everything. You can control the saturation, make it black and white, or you can make it a little bit more colorful. You know, all these tools are at your fingertips at this point. So you can do the luminance blur. If you want to make it blurry, you can make it less blurry. Uh, you have a whole bunch of stuff here, like I said. Um, in this case, I'm not going to you know, go through everything, um, but that's pretty much how people do those really cool VHS uh, you know, style of edits. And the text that I use, in case you guys were wondering, if I go to text and I go into the, uh, let's see, titles, and I go into basic title, and I drag this on top here, I'm going to choose the font. Oh man, the font is called um, it's called Venetian, and I'll try and leave a link in the description if I can find the font. Um, but it's called Venetian, okay? And this is what it looks like. Of course, I haven't added any effects. Um, I did add that one prism uh, blur effect though. So if I go to the effects, I go to blur, and I go to prism. This will create a uh, RGB split effect. So if I go to the inspector window. And I go into the video properties and I go to the amount. You can decrease or increase the amount of blur. So now if I push play, you get a more retro VHS look. And this looks super cool, like I said, um, you know, topped off with music and stuff like that. Um, you will see this a lot in music videos. Uh, so just a heads up. If you guys want more tutorials on other effects in the universe or Red Giant uh, suites, I suppose, 
just comment down below and subscribe and turn on the bell notification. But until next time, peace out.